Hey guys, Lincoln here from Landfish TV. Today, I'm gonna to test out two things. One's gonna be this Pisfin travel rod to see if I can break it or the jig head bends first. And the next one, if that survives, is a game rod with a 100 pound mono leader with the same jig head. And today I'm gonna to be using a jiggle fishing bullet jig head in 2.0. So, let's see which one survives, the jig heads or the rods. So what I'm gonna be using for the weight in this video is I've got this bucket, which can contain quite a bit of water. And I've also got this little handle up here where it actually the hook fits on there quite nicely. And hopefully you'll be able to see it on the camera, we've actually put some black dye in there, just so on the outside you can see how much I've got in there. But I've also got a scale here to measure how much is in there. Watching that, oh, I just tore my pants real bad. Watching that scale down there, see how much I can put in there before it starts registering. So the scale isn't registering, so that sucks. No, it's just too, too light for it. So as you can see there, I've got about that much in this big bucket. So I'm gonna measure this a bit later, but let's get this first test going and see if we can break this rod. So we've got about one third of this bucket in there at the moment. So I'm gonna rig this jig head straight up on here and I'm running 20 pound line on this rod. And this is the Pisfin Traveler. Got a casting weight of 10 to 30 grams. I'm thinking it's about like a three to five or something like that. Doesn't actually have it written on there, but I'm gonna crank this drag up, see if I can lift the bucket. Which one will survive? Don't even know if it'd be able to pick this one bucket up. It's gonna break first. Oh no, it's moving the bucket. Oh, this could hurt. Oh, cool in the drag. Winding right down on that tip. Just gonna see if I can pick this up. <laughs> so, the line didn't break. Um, the rod sure did. And let's have a look at the jig head. There you go. Not one little bend in it. So the hook on this jig head is definitely stronger than this now three piece rod. Um, broken two places there. So now it's in thirds. I'd say that this rod isn't designed for real big fish then. Um, but the jig head did well. Let's throw that to the side and get the game rod out. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with the power on this rod, because this is a game rod. It's a Shimano Backbone Elite 10 kilo. It's a roller tip rod. I've got 80 pound braid on there, which I'm not gonna get down to, but I have got this 100 pound leader on here. And I've got one of the same little jig heads tied onto this really powerful rod to see if I can destroy it, basically. So, let's give it a go. Hook it on there the same as before. Bit centered. Make sure it's in the roller. And let's see if we can lift this bucket. There you go. <laughs> so it's handling that, no worries. Uh, we've got to bounce that a little bit. Yep, not coming off there. Oh, geez, she's pretty heavy actually. Oh. So, test one for the game rod. Let's have a look at the jig head. Oh, she's still perfect. Look at that. No bend at all. How cool is that? Let's fill out the bucket some more. So it's up to halfway now, so we're going to see if that makes any difference. Well, I sure don't know how this is going to go. The bucket's up about halfway now, so 
a little bit iffy. I don't know which one's going to survive here, the bucket or the jig head, because the rod sure ain't going to break. So just showing you there, still unbent, same jig head. Going to hook him on here. And let's see if we can lift this bucket. This could potentially end really badly because I've got black dye in there. It's going to end up all over the driveway if this breaks. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Whoa, they're even shaking. Oh. <laughs> I'm impressed with that. Let's have a look at the jig head. Oh, my God. Not one little bit of change there. Look at that. <laughs> Let's fill up this bucket a bit more. I reckon we'll go about three quarters of the bucket now. See how that goes. Well, about three quarters in the bucket now. Well, three quarters of a bucket. See how we go. Looking at it in the same spot, just there. And I reckon this one's gonna be the one. Let's give this a go. Oh, we're we gonna lift it. We're gonna lift it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So, with a 10 kilo game rod and three quarters of a bucket that big, finally managed to get that to bend. I wonder whether this scale will work now that there's a bit more weight in there. Bucket's coming at 13.2 kilogram. I'm actually quite impressed with those jig heads. I didn't think they'd last that long, but they seem to have a really strong hook on them. It's actually a really cool result because these jig heads are designed to be used a bit more finesse than a 10 kilo game rod. And I'd probably actually be teaming it up with like a two to four kilo rod with 10 pound braid and maybe up to 16 pound leader, depending on what I was chasing. I'm impressed. Like the, these jig heads are quite strong. I wouldn't really have any worries using my normal gear with these jig heads on any fish in the bay that would take a plastic. So the end result is if you're using the gear these jig heads are designed for you're more likely to break your rod than bend your hook. Rest in peace pissfin rod I guess. <laughs> the reel's still good. A 20 pound line on there and I tied direct to the jig head there and the rod broke but like that jig head hasn't budged. It's still perfect but then you've got using the wrong gear, like complete wrong gear, like the game rod on a jig head designed for a rod like that. And I finally managed to bend the hook. So it really shows that this is a super strong hook for the gear you want to use. And if you're using something big like this and the wrong gear for the terminal tackle that you are going to use, you're not going to be very successful. So you really need to match up the jig heads that you're going to use to the gear you're going to use. Yeah.